What's up, guys? Dustin Huey here, back with the Philadelphia Flyers gym mode. Oh, and uh, yeah, so we did our uh, premiere. It was three episodes. I uh, made a couple trades and did some stuff. Um, yeah, people. Somebody suggested to put uh, Coburn and Teeman in together, so I'm gonna try that out. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, like that, Broden and Stride will stay together. Shan will be up there. Uh, okay, I think that's good. Uh, Fedotanko is apparently in the KHL, but whatever, that's fine. Um, it would basically be me just re-signing another player about his, you know, goodness anyways. So, uh, Kyle Wellwood. Again, I'm going to keep Couturier down here for a year. Um, because he's he's a depth, or a fourth line forward. I feel like it's going to help him a lot more if he actually gets a lot of ice time. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be down here basically the entire year. And, uh, he's going to get top, like, ice time, so... I think that'll help him. Um, and Eric Wellwood, I think, is he even... Uh, no, I'm going to put Eric Wellwood on here. I think Wellwood's supposed to be good. Brother to Kyle Wellwood. Where is he? Okay. Three and a half stars, yeah. I think he has potential. Throw him on there. Um, Akis, Who's this Akison guy? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, three stars. That's fine. We'll get rid of him. Yeah. Wellwood, you're in. You're in, Wellwood. Da -da 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 PK. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, like that. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure, sure. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to keep Chris Pronger here, whatever, for now. I mean, technically, I probably could trade him and get something, but eh. I want to keep him in the Flyers organization. That's where he is, so. Okay, so we did that. And, um. I think that was it. I'm just gonna double check the suggestions here. Uh, yeah, so save the yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm I'm not gonna go for Druin again this year. I'm gonna go definitely for somebody else. I'm not sure who exactly yet. We'll see come draft time. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna probably keep our first round pick. We're gonna see what happens with that. Uh, otherwise, I'm ready to go. We're gonna start the season here, I believe. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to start the season. We're going to do the sim. Uh, f uh, for goalie-wise, I think I'm going to do two losses for Mason and one for Emery. Um, just because they're both pretty similar. I Obviously, I want Mason to get some more games in, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to rotate them every... Yeah, Mason every two games and then Emery every loss. Like, Mason, Mason two losses and Emery one loss. I think that's fair. Um, I did the jersey numbers. I fixed it. Le Cavalier, uh, yeah, Vincent Le Cavalier is number 40, Strites 32, and Emery is 29. Those, they had that on NHL.com, so, uh, there's a picture of them. Those are the numbers, so. We're gonna go with that, because there's, uh, no number four on Philly. It's retired. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll start off. I, I feel like we'll have a decent season, but, uh, we'll see. If we have a little bit of struggles, I mean, there's always the ability to look for, you know, someone to kind of to go for um i don't even know who's available on free agency honestly uh I'll just take a quick peek on here uh gilbert morrow like yeah we could go for like a good third line person like cleary or you know yager or ponikrovsky like even for a year or something you know like it's not really the end of the world uh even mason raymond wouldn't be too bad uh damian bruner wouldn't be too bad as well Somebody we can look like we can look for something like later on, but for right now I think we're gonna be set and yeah, I'll start the season. All right So again two losses for uh, Mason one loss for Emery. I feel like Mason's gonna You know have a decent year and he's probably gonna shoot up a little bit, but we'll see All right, here we go Okay, so we're at the start of year one Let's see how we can do all right. So Boston game one of the Philadelphia Flyers jam mode 4 2 win. Yes. All right, Islanders up next. The Islanders. 3 2 win. Nice. K 2 0 start. That's good. That's good. If you include our preseason, that's 6 0. Not bad. Although, I, I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings. I don't know if we're going to do that great. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Ooh, 2 1 win. All right, Drew has four points. Good start. Captain Giroux. All right, Winnipeg Jets. <clears throat> Come on, they're 2-1. Set of Gucci with three assists. Wow, one nothing loss. 
Ouch. Barutal. All right, so we're three and one. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, Montreal. <laughs> it looks like uh, Breeze Glove was uh, signed from by Phoenix. <laughs> That's awesome. Four th four three loss to Montreal. <clears throat> All right, so we're uh, three one and one right now. As if Breeze Golov got signed by Phoenix, <laughs> that's hilarious. Wow, four two loss to Toronto, brutal. All right, Buffalo two one loss. Wow. Okay, come on guys, what are we doing here? We started off three and zero. Oh. Dallas five four loss. Oh man. All right, we're not uh, not doing the greatest right now. New Jersey, 3-2 loss. <laughs> All right, so we're 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. We're on a six-game losing streak. I'll take OT losses, though. It's not bad. All right, Anaheim. 3-1 uh, loss. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Man, the Rangers are doing crazy good. All right, Buffalo. 4-1. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're going to scout out uh, uh, Jonesy, Seth Jonesy. Wow, we're on a nine-game losing streak currently. That's great. All right, so we're going to put M or, uh, Mason in net. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Mason's back in. <sighs> All right, 2-1 victory. There we go. 4-6-3. Okay. Le Cavalier with five goals. All right, Carolina again. Uh, four one loss. Ah, come on. What is the deal? Minnesota. Like I said, I don't expect a whole lot, but uh, okay. So I'm gonna put Le Cavalier left wing on the first line. We're gonna put Simmons at center. Reed on the right side. He's a right wing. Hartnell on the left. Try this out. See if it works. Okay. Minnesota. Four two loss. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on. Brutal. I don't understand how you can start so strong and then let's do that. Okay. Emery's in net. Come on. Let's go. Please. 6 3. Okay. We got to win. There we go. We got to win. We got to win. All right. Buffalo again. 4 2. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Two wins in a row with Emery. <laughs> All right. Ottawa. They're not doing too bad. 10 6 and 1. All right, 4-3 win. Looks like um, MacArthur is leading their team. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. 3-1 win. Okay, Emery's doing pretty good for us right now. Munch or, wow, New York Rangers are 15-3-1. Holy crap. Okay, 2-0 loss. Ouch. <laughs> All right, LeCavalier leading the team with goals right now. So we got to put uh, Mason back in that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four-one loss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Mason. Ah, oh, two-one loss. Ugh, not a good way to finish. All right, so we're at uh, December first here. We're eight, ten, and four. <laughs> um, honestly, I, I was, I kind of thought we would have had a better showing. Uh, we went on a terrible losing streak. It was atrocious. Emery's got to go back in net. Emery went on like a four-game win streak there. Uh, I put LeCavalier on the second line because I thought that might help us out a little bit, but I really don't know if it is or not, if it is if it is or isn't helping, really. Um, I mean, Scott Hartnell is a second-line player anyways. Yeah, I really don't know uh, what I could do that would help the team out at all. Um, the only thing I could really think of is if we went for, like, a third-line scorer maybe. And then we could put uh, Knubel down and get rid of Hall. But uh, other than that, I don't really want to change our top six. I don't want to bring in an, like a big a big top six guy because I feel like all these guys will have a chance of getting better. Um, like I said, yeah, obviously we're not doing very good right now. I don't know what the what the issue is exactly, but uh, I mean it's we're almost 500. I mean it's not bad. Uh, a couple of good games and we're like ahead of the game right now. So, uh, like where are we sitting right now? Yeah, like we're 12th, but literally like eighth place is four points out of our reach. So, I mean, really four points, that's two wins. And we're, you know, we're back in, back in the race. Like, 
Uh, Ottawa, who's third place, is only 25 points. Winnipeg's got 26. Islanders have 26. Pittsburgh has 26. Carolina's 26. There's four teams with 26 points. That's only six points ahead of us. That's three wins. So I can't really get uh, you know too 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 afraid right now. Uh, Le Cavalier has nine points or nine goals for us, which is pretty decent. Uh, we don't really have anybody putting up assists though. That I think that's one of the issues. Uh, points we don't have anybody at all. Uh, wins, obviously, like both Ray Emery and uh, Mason have four wins each. I mean, a goalie would probably help as well, but I don't know. I don't really want. I want to give Mason a chance, like for a year. I mean, we might end up bombing the season, but I mean, what's the worst that ha can happen? We get like a top five draft pick, right? So. Um, I mean, it might suck that we're going to lose a lot, but um, honestly, if even if we finish down, I mean, we get a good draft pick. Some of our guys progress. You know, maybe Mason hits an 85 or so, and, uh, you know, we're back in it. So, I don't know. I don't think it'll be too terrible. Uh, let's look at our player stats here fast. So, 22 games. Uh, LeCavalier has 15 points. Drew has 15. Simmons has 13. Hartnell has 10. Timonen has 9. Reed has 9. Um, yeah, like where Voracek has six points on the first line. That's atrocious. Uh, I, I'm almost thinking I should put him on the second line. I don't know what his deal is. Uh, Wellwood's not doing too bad, I guess, for a fourth liner. Braden Shen, I'd like to see a bit better to him. Even Strait, you know, Luke Shen's not really doing a whole lot for us right now. We're all like, other than, wow, like fourth line guys are plus, that's about it. But everyone else is minus, so... I don't know, maybe I should just uh, try and do the lines differently. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, but uh, yeah, like Steve Mason, 2.76, not very good. Um, again, it could be defense, though. I mean, he he's obviously a backup goalie, um, but I feel like he could probably do a little bit better for us. Uh, Emery, I mean, hasn't been too terrible at all, really. What is he, 2.61? I mean, goals against isn't bad, but 4-3-1, which is... It's a pretty respectable, like, 500 record. Um, can't really get too upset about that. I mean, obviously, at this point, I would say Emery's probably the starter, but I think uh, it'll end up probably, be, like, splitting splitting the games. Uh, goals four-wise, we're sitting 24th, so we need to get our goals four up. Goals against, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty bad. We're, like, seventh worst. <laughs> Not good. Power play, 15.9, 16th. That's not, I mean, it's not terrible. Or, er, yeah, 15th best, whatever. Uh, PK-wise, 80%. We're 22nd in the league, so that could do some uh, work as well. Home, 5, 6, and 2. Away, 3, 4, and 2. So not very good records. But, uh, you know, honestly, I'll take some suggestions from you guys, but I really don't want to change a whole lot about what's going on right now. Um, like I said, if worst-case scenario, we, we get a top-5 draft pick. You know, uh, I don't know why how the how the owner expected us to make the um, the semifinals or whatever the conference, but uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. I'm I'm okay with what if, even if we finished 500, like we you could still possibly make the playoffs. We just need a few wins like in a row. After a bunch of losses, though, you know, uh, kind of screwed us. But I think we went on a nine game losing streak or something. But yeah, I don't know. 8, 10, and 4. Not terrible. Not not great, but, uh, I mean, we're still in the hunt at this point. It's not like a... As long as we can keep our head above water kind of thing, I think we should be okay. But, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think about the lines, alright? Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>